So mm-hmm. if I were to, the sound is distinct. So if I'm like in a college dorm or something and I walk by and I hear that and I'm like, oh, that guy's auto blowing mm-hmm. in there. hundred percent. Like if you tried to do that, you know, you go in the bathroom at your dorm and you start mm-hmm. auto blowing your roommates out there going, I know what he's doing because I can hear it over the TV. Yeah. Not a good. It, 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 I, it in was college, so I straight up had sex while my roommate was in the room because he was such an asshole. I just didn't give a fuck about what his opinions were. Well, did you give him a chance to leave? Uh, no. <laughs> well, you know, that's on him because he should have been able to read the room he and was, be like, that is, that is a, that's just a rude person. Frankly, if you see your roommate is about to get laid, Give give him a little space. Give him a little little room. You know, I, I would you have don't just start not done that, but he was such a an pot ass. Or two. Actually, yeah, right. you just start jacking off. You say, I'm <laughs> I'm here for the fun. <laughs> I get no <laughs> watch, you know. Take your top off, Drifter. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> I, I like to do I said the you said the corner jack off. If it's not like going the way I like it, I'll boo. What if he was jerking off while me and my wife were going at it? I don't even know. I think it's that if, that he would at least have to ask you permission for that. He can't just assume you'd be down. That's three way. Yeah. I don't know, he's rolling around home. in the bed, being all grumpy, saying things, telling us to be quiet, whatever. Ever ignore that guy? Wow, wow nice and <laughs> awkward. Wow. Nice and uncomfortable. Yeah. We, we didn't get along at all. It was really bad. Uh, because what would happen is like he had ROTC at like five in the morning. So five That's in the morning, cool. all the lights in the room come on, TV turns on, Star Trek next generation at like 80% volume, coffee grinder. <laughs> you know, and I'm like a guy who has classes at noon. This was every day. I would be like playing. This was like the Halo 3 era, right? Like before, just before Machinima. And I'd be like playing or trying to record something with my little easy cap. And he would just be irritated and turn on the TV and crank the volume to maximum to blow out my game. Or just um, all sorts of little things like that. So at a point, I just had to sort of like completely ignore him and live my life the way I was going to live it if he was there or not. That's what you got to do with a shitty roommate. Did he have a girlfriend? No. Nice. nice. Very, very, very no. Um, I did as a test. So the dude hated me for a lot of reasons that we've discussed here. Um, and I had a friend that was a very hot girl, standard blonde, skinny, bombshell kind of thing. And I asked her to come to the room with me with two other girls. And we had some bet that I bet that she could get him talking and friendly and flirty in seconds. And uh, yeah, that basically is what happened. Like, he sort of ignored me and only talked to the girls and was immediately like trying to get a date and try to hit on him and try to do a thing and show off his like ROTC stuff. And, uh, is that a flex? Hey ladies, check out this weird band leader helmet. I have to wear with the chin. I think so. I think dude came from a very military (laughs) family. So I think he probably thought it was a flex. I don't Um, think it's like embarrassing, but I don't think it's cool either. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think it's a flex. I thought ROTC was cool, but I don't know much about it. It was it was never on my campus. As far as I can tell, they just spin those fake rifles and make their beds well or some shit. Mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't know what the big deal is. Maybe you're getting some like some uh, some brownie points if you join the actual yes. military. Yeah, yeah. You you were like on the fast track for uh, leadership because I met the dude's parents who also hated me uh, for good reasons, and they what were are these like reasons? three. Gener- okay, so like I first met the parents. Okay, on move-in mm-hmm. day. And they're like trying to get to know me and where are your parents and like, you know, there was, I, I think I asked them where they're from and they're like, oh, you know, we move around a lot. We don't stay in one place. I'm like, oh, you know, me too. We have that in common, like military family. And they're all happy. And I was like, no. And they're like, well, why'd you move? Because my family was criminal and we wanted to avoid warrants. And then it was just immediate downhill. You know, I thought they would kind of take that sort of cute, smart assery humor as a joke, but it was a very sort of conservative, traditional family. And they were like, who the fuck is my son staying with? Who is this weird guy in this room? Um, hmm. What so kind of it was like your parents? Tell me more about that. Uh, let's see. It was primarily on my mom's side. Uh, uh-huh. Grandfather, uh, we'll, we'll work chronologically. Uh, okay. More recently, like mom's side of the family, a lot of like drugs. Uh, cocaine, smuggling, selling, trading, small-time gangster stuff. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Mom and stepdad and uncle grew a shit ton of pot. We had a, like a big weed field in the 90s or early 2000s in Kentucky, which is why we had to leave the state. Uh, mm-hmm. All sorts of minor insurance fraud, um, bad checks, standard get drunk and you know try to stab the guy on the border with a fork, that kind of stuff. Sure, um, sure. A little bit of Grand Theft Auto. My mom got tied up in the mob for a little bit. There was... Uh, this is not a criminal behavior. Uh, trafficking, unfortunately, was involved. Go back to my grandfather. Things get fucking insane. Um, actually, it relates to the medical condition. I think it might be slightly, possibly genetic in the thiamine deficiency. Because when he would drink, he would go full psychotic, like full mm-hmm. break from reality. And in prison, they evaluated him, said he had a pretty high IQ and was friendly and affable. But whenever he could get his hands on alcohol, it was just like, there's no telling what would happen. So that guy was... Uh, I don't know. His kill count was probably under 20, uh, but he did kill people that owed him money. Uh, a lot of rapes, a lot of uh, drug trafficking, a lot of like high end theft and heist and stuff like that. Uh, so, example, my mom grew up her toys for children. This is what she told me. I know the PK audience says I'm a lying piece of shit and all that stuff. My mom told me her toys were different caliber bullet casings and she gave different names with each one. So instead of doing tea party with bunnies, it would be 45 and 30 aught six and stuff like that. And, uh, going back further than that, uh, even more criminal, uh, more violent stuff that I would probably say is an uncomfortable topic here. Uh, just completely wild families getting less criminal as, as we successive generations, not all the way done yet though. Right. No, right. No. Right. <laughs> I've committed a lot of crimes in my life. Yeah, you never get out. You never get out once no. you taste. Uh, so I didn't. T- I didn't tell the, the roommate's family any of that stuff. But I just mentioned like, oh, we had to move because of criminality. And you, you think Jeez. about the guy who's like this upstanding, like military, like mm-hmm. higher ranking dude, and you say, oh, we moved for criminality. That's not an okay thing. That's not a good. That doesn't you know mesh. But uh, mom's side of the family, extraordinarily criminal, at least in a minor capacity, very few flavors of crime they haven't tried. Um, Probably the worst of them all was human trafficking, but they didn't do too much of that. Like just just a touch, just a touch. (laughs) So the human trafficking is synonymous with pimping. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I mean, sort of, but so, I imagine you're, you're bringing the person from one place to the other for, you know, for, 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 for criminal reasons is what trafficking yeah. means to me. It's more about um, the transportation for immoral reasons than, than the, what it means to me too, but I feel like legally it's just being a pimp nowadays. I, I might be wrong. I'm, yeah. I don't think so. That would be news oh, to no. me. I don't think I know I was charged. Is, with, I was charged with trafficking. <laughs> I don't think I this mention, part is my story to tell, involved. but I'm going to put it in the chat so you guys can see. Um, here, human trafficking, also known as trafficking in, in persons, is a crime that involves forcing or coercing someone to provide labor or services or to commit in commercial sex acts. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's not about the transportation when it's human trafficking. Maybe it just means taking advantage always... of them and forcing them to do things. Because when I hear drug trafficking, to me, it's all about getting it from this place to that place. I thought human trafficking meant like kidnapping people. This this is the uh, the plot of Taken, right? You're kidnapping people, you put them in chains, you put them in like little outhouses and you force them to have sex to people who I guess like having sex with women who really wish they weren't having sex with you. Ah, uh, you drug them, they don't then they're good. <laughs> That's what I thought it was, but it turns out it's just pimping. Damn. It was a, maybe it's a racist uh crime that they invented to go after black pimps. Are you talking about Andrew that? Tate? No, uh, no, no, what he did. Actually, uh, Drifter's family history. We were talking about. Yeah, so I'm, gonna, I'm putting us. this. I'm putting this in the comments. I'd prefer this not to be on the show, so you guys. Drifter's can see. a real AJ Soprano over here. <laughs> <laughs> real AJ. No, no, yeah. you're thinking big. You're, think like stupid, redneck, poor, desperate, like trailer park boys kind of shit. He's a real Duke brother. Dude, Trailer Park Boys, <laughs> unlike any other comedy show, instills me with such a sense of like sadness, Sad. dread, and hopelessness. Like the intro itself, like it, I, I almost always hit skip intro if I'm watching it on a service like that because the song plus the the tinny incorrect color palette it's just yep. gray and it's it's so sad, like yellowish, and their like goals are so laughable where it's like. You know, Julian, we got to get four thousand dollars to retire. 
And it's like, really? Like four grand is their big like, mm-hmm. like project 35 yes. is like yes. they're going to make 25 grand and then we're all smooth sailing the rest of our lives. We're, we're going to steal the gumball machine with all the pennies in it or they'll, they'll like ask Ricky for some money. He's like, who, who do you think I am? I don't have just like five dollars laying around. Who has that kind yeah. of money? The, the, uh, the like it's so far and away real, most like, intelligent ugh. member of their crew is the guy who like took me until season two for me to realize he wasn't a retard. Yeah. Yes. But they like, wrote it. Uh, look, they wrote him, and he acted like he was retarded for for many seasons, in my opinion. Yeah. And at some mm-hmm. point, the actor was like, "I don't want to be the retarded guy. I want to have a thing every now and then. I don't always want to be the butt of the joke. I, maybe I have some business ideas. They maybe my him kitties bubbles. could get their own little adventure land. And so they made him more quirky and uh, mm-hmm. and actually more. Sensible. I liked him as more retarded. I did too. Where they be uh, generous, I would say. Uh, with his uh, eyes. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty rough. I love the trailer park voice. Everything him. that they do, their schemes, their uh, the way it works, the piss jugs, the culture that is very. I know it was filmed in Canada. That was so accurate to the American South growing up. It was so much like where I lived and where my wife lived. Like every episode would hit so- home in some small way, like the scheme to steal half a pack of cigarettes and stuff. And you know, you get paid this week, and it's your daughter's birthday. What do you do? Spend all the money instantly. I couldn't tell you how many times I've seen that in real life. Yeah, in Mississippi. It, you just can't ooh. buy real. Th- I don't know. Oh, I didn't like the sad bits of it. I like. like I appreciate those the most. The saddest moment in all of Trailer Park Boys. I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, Ricky's father just has paid off a 30 year mortgage on a trailer and it's all free and clear now because he's defrauding the state of Canada, pretending like he's in a wheelchair and getting benefits. And he, and he's so happy and Ricky burns the fucking trailer, not yes. to the ground. Cause that would have been better. At least there'd been not, not been a mess. He like, burns all the walls and the roof off and then all the interior is just blackened beyond use and and he does it like cooking french fries and getting laid and like abandoning a, like french fries bo- um cooking on the on, on the stove so the next day we're coming t- t- to terms with the fact that th- the house is gone now and we were all already homeless the gang or whatever mm-hmm. but now like we don't even know anybody who's got a house. So they're all <laughs> so they're having breakfast in the wreckage. They're outside on like a hot plate <laughs> And Bubbles shows up late to breakfast and he's like, he can smell bacon and like, like, like bacon sandwiches and bread or something like that. And he's like, oh, you got any more of that bacon? He's like, sorry, Bubs, this is for the old man. You can, uh, there's a bread <laughs> heel there. The bread heel, of course, is the bad piece of bread on the end of a loaf of bread. And he's like, you could sop up some of that bacon grease here, though, with that bread heel. You know, that's pretty. He goes and, and Bubbles acts like he doesn't know how, his, how he's like like this. Like he doesn't he, he doesn't know if he's being pranked or not. He's like, this is how I do yeah. it. And then I, I eat this. And he's like, and he goes, hmm. He's making this goofy like, like Ricky, this is fucking disgusting. Goes, yeah, I get he, Bubbles impersonation. Got anything I can drink. He asks for something to drink. And Ricky, Ricky hands him a melted two liter bottle <laughs> that's that's got some liquid in the bottom and he's like drinking out of this old melted <laughs> bottle it's all contorted and twisted in a weird shape and he's and he's eating his bread heels that he stopped up bacon grease with in the wreckage or just outside of of this home and ev- still smoking <laughs> it's so depressing because there's yeah no i thought it was there. hilarious i've i've lived that life so like getting a perspective on it fucking hilarious like the bible salesman episode you too can enter the kingdom of heaven with this here bible for only eight easy payments of 99.99 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all the like the stupid ideas that like ricky would have of what an intellectual would do where he's like yes now i get him a fucking uh encyclopedic uh, set for seven hundred dollars <laughs> and it's like no the little girl wants the world almanac or it's whatever so she the can fuck be learned. Yeah.